Hi everyone, this is Heather Smith with Storyville Photography and today I'm going to show you how to achieve this edit. These are my children as you probably know at this point and they are sitting on one of my dad's yard art. Pretty cool, huh? So this is where we're going to end and this is where we are going to start. This is the straight out of the camera, no adjustments were made. Um, so after, before, after. And I'm going to switch on over to another copy because I'm going to be doing some flattening and I want to be able to jump back to the other post and show y'all um, the before. So the first thing I want to do is make a copy of the background, Command-J. And then the next thing I want to do is go to Filter, Camera Raw Filter. And as you guys probably have noticed throughout my tutorials, I'm starting to use the Camera Raw Filter a lot more instead of Lightroom. I like the option of being able to add a mask in the layers panel if need be and then masking off areas of the preset that I don't want it on. In this case, I'm going to leave it over the whole image, but there is um, situations from time to time that I like to add the mask. So the first thing I'm going to do is warm the image up a little bit um, by just going to the temperature and pushing it towards the right. And then I'm going to go into my presets and I'm going to choose the simplicity preset number four. I'm going to leave the preset as is, but if you want to make adjustments, you can go back into the main um, page of the camera raw by clicking here and play around with the sliders and really make it fit your own image, or you can leave it as is. It's really just your preference. So I'm going to hit OK. And this is the before the preset and after. And actually, I forgot there was one more thing I wanted to do while I was in there. So I'm going to go back into the camera raw. And as you can see, my son's skin is a little bit orangey and kind of dull. Um, so I'm going to first go to the orange slider and I'm going to increase the luminance by like, I don't know, around 20, 22, 21, 20. Okay. Anyway, one of those. And then I'm going to just kind of decrease the saturation just ever so slightly. And you can do this on a new layer or you can do it on um, the same layer that you did the preset. I did it on the same layer. So that's the before and after. And then the next thing I want to do is go into the ultimate dodge and burn and I'm going to hit play. Now for this ultimate dodge and burn to work, you guys, you need to open it. I've gotten quite a few messages that you've tried to paint on with a soft white brush, as it says in the instructions on this main mask. I added this in case you wanted to make any adjustments to the whole grouping itself, but you can't paint white on white. It just won't do anything for you. Um, so you're going to need to open up each little grouping. I just tried to organize it really good for you guys, but make sure you click and you open. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do in here is go into the Dodge and Burn clothing. And I'm going to show you a couple different ways. I have three subjects, so normally I would just go into the Ultimate Dodge and Burn and make three different copies of it because I like to have one for each subject. You could use one on all three. It's really just preference but you can also use the extra dodge and burn. So to show you another way, instead of just using the combo, I'm gonna use just the extra dodge and burn on my daughter Kendall in here. So I'm gonna zoom in and I'm gonna take a soft white brush at 100% opacity, and I'm just gonna kind of burn little areas um, of her dress that if I was to dodge might blow out a little bit. And it just kind of darkens ever so slightly. And then if I wanted to add some dodge to her, you can just kind of roll over areas that you really want to pop. A couple areas that kind of blew out. As you can see, you can either adjust the opacity down um, or you can decrease your brush, brush opacity, use a black soft brush, and paint over certain areas. I'm going to increase that back up switch to a soft white brush and this is the brush guys right here not the dodge and burn no um you don't use that for this i really don't like the dodge and burn in photoshop so that's why i created my own i'm just gonna run over her dress a little bit more and you can also double up on these as well say that's not enough dodge and burn for you or dodge just make a copy of the layer so i might make a copy of that and then just just decrease it a little bit and maybe add a little bit more just ever so slightly right there 
So that's the before and after of my sweet daughter, Kendallin. For the Dodge and Burn, um, I am going to just make an extra copy. And I'm going to start with Savannah here. 100% opacity, soft white brush. And I'm going to start painting that on. I'm going to want to increase this opacity to make it stronger. I might turn it down, but I like to see where I'm painting. And just run it over her clothing. Turn it down a little bit. Okay, and then I'm moving on to Weston. Same thing, just running it over his clothing. That wasn't at 100, but it was close enough. Turn it up. Up, up, up. Okay, over his pants. And then I might want to add a little bit extra dodge to him. I'm going to go on the layer that isn't as strong. You just run it over his sweater there. And that looks good to me. So here is the before and after of the Dodge and Burn clothing. S super quick and easy. I'm going to go into the Dodge one here, and I'm going to use this on all three of them. Just run over their hair and their hat. As you can see, it's kind of blown out, but we'll decrease the opacity when we're done. Just brighten that up. Do -do -do. Okay, there we go, before and after, I zoom out. The next thing I want to do is move on to the car. So I, since I've already added to this, I know that I'm going to want to have two dodge and burn combos at least um, for this car here. So I'm going to make a copy, click on the first one, soft white brush, 100% percent opacity and just run it along. I'm going to hit every part of the car. I'm going to do this quick guys, but you are welcome to zoom in and take more time, spend more time. Actually, I don't think I want it on there. That blew it out pretty good. So turning on to a soft black brush again and now going back to white to finish dodging and burning this car. And it's so fun because it just does the dodge and burn at the same time. I love it. And the reason why I didn't just duplicate this area, because if I duplicate it, then certain areas are going to be blown out. So instead of that, I just made an extra copy and I'm going to run over um, just kind of the darker areas and I'm going to leave the bright areas alone. If that makes sense, I hope it does. And then I want to add extra dodge just to this front here. A little bit there. And there we go. Perfect. So we'll close that up. And that's the before and after. And the whole group before and after. And the next thing I want to do is move on to the image base. So I'm going to go to the image base, select it, hit play. And I want to turn the contrast off and I want to make sure to have a soft black brush at 100% opacity and flow and brush the darkened edges off of my subjects and car and also I want to brush off the brighten off my subjects and car and I want to increase the color dazzle that's really going to make the colors pop and just you know beautiful and I want to take my opacity of my soft black brush about 50% and just go over my kids real quick so they're not too saturated. And that is the before and after. And now I'm going to go into the retouch and I'm going to select the brightened skin and eyes. Hit play. Open up that group. And I'm going to first brighten my son's eyes. His are the only ones showing. My daughter is just cracking up. They think they're so funny and they're so cute, aren't they? I am biased, however. <laughs> Moving over, sorry, had to really zoom in there. And I'm just gonna run it over his eyes. And then I wanna do the brightened skin. I'm gonna turn that down to about 40%, 43 is fine. And with a soft white brush, just kinda hit some darker areas. 
their hands. And hers look good there. Maybe a little bit on her face and Okay. There we go. So that is the before and after. And then I want to go into the rosy cheeks and lips. Select play. Open that up. I'm going to go to the radiant red. Soft white brush, 100% opacity. As you've seen in the past, he's going to look like a clown, but I like to see where it's going. And then we're going to turn that down a little bit up to about 9% looks good. Just to add a little something something to his cheeks. You can also do lips, but they're so far away, don't really need to focus on that. So um, we're not. Now I want to go into my adjustments and grab a curves layer. And I just want to brighten my mid midtones ever so slightly. The Dodge and Burn takes care of the highlights and shadows beautifully, but it kind of I don't really do much with the midtones because it doesn't always need it, but here, because it was a little bit darker, I just want to increase those a little bit. There we go. And now I want to add a Storyville Sun overlay. All you need to do is select it, Command A, copy it, Command C, and then Command V will put it on top of your image. You can also just drag and drop if you have a Mac. I'm not sure if PCs do it. It might, but I'm a little rusty on how to edit on one of those, so don't quote me for sure. And then the next thing I want to do is select screen mode and command T will free transform it. You can resize it and you can move it around. So I want to move it up top. Hit OK. And then I want to go into the filter and add a little blur to it. Gaussian blur. If not, you'll get a distinct like black line from when the overlay ends and we don't want any of that. You can also add a uh, mask and brush off the lines with a soft um, black brush. That will do the same thing. This is just something um, that speeds it up and is a little bit easier. So that looks good to me. And as, if you notice, my dad had like a trailer back here and I don't like this pink and blue popping out right there. So the easiest thing to do guys is just take a hue and saturation um, adjustment layer and we'll click, click the blue and we will go ahead and desaturate that. And then we'll click it again. And it's going to go into the reds and we will desaturate that. And as you can see, it affected the entire image. Pretty hideous, right? But we're going to invert the layer mask. So click on the layer mask and then hit Command I to invert it. And then grab your soft black brush, or sorry, white brush, because we're going to paint that on 100% opacity and just run it over that. And now it doesn't draw your eye right there. So everything's looking good. I have been asked before if you can run the smoothing and sharpening action at the end, because um, I normally do it at the beginning. And of course you can. So I wanted to show you what happens if you do it at the end. It's the exact same, but you're going to want to flatten your image. And then go into your actions and hit the step one smoothing. Hit OK. And then I want to turn the opacity down um, without, re I feel like I repeat myself in every video, but if you're new to this, you kind of got to know. The opacity comes on really strong and you can leave it as is, or you can play with it um, to lower it to whatever your eye really likes. So I'm going to leave it at about 41% and you can do the same with the sharpening. So then hit step two and then hit, where What's going on? Okay. Hit play. And that is going to sharpen it a lot. And you can also leave it as is, or you can dial it back. I'm going to go to about 35% there. And that does it, guys. We are done, done, done. And I hope you love how it turned out. So this is the before, and this is the after. You can find everything I use on my website, www.storybillphotography.com, and I'm also going to list it on this video. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye!